The city of Plymouth is a growing hustle and bustle community. With its rich history, important landmarks, and friendly environment, it's the perfect place to plan your wedding. Hidden within the city lies a building with great history that you may have never heard of. This building is known as the Meeting House Grand Ballroom. My name is Randy Lorenz and my wife and I are the owners of the Meeting House Grand Ballroom. Well, the Meeting House is a single event wedding reception banquet facility. It was originally built in 1927 and it was the, at that time a Mason's Hall. The uh, very first wedding held here was my sister's wedding and that was 48 years ago. And when my uh, father was a young boy, uh, there was actually a time that uh, they bowled up here. And so he was a pin setter and he uh, discovered the facility at that time and fell in love with it and was determined that uh, at some point in his future he would buy the building, and uh, which he did uh, along with uh, my mom and they converted it into a banquet facility just in the nick of time for my sister's wedding. There are a number of unique features about the Meeting House. It's come uh, through a number of different uh, uh, renovations and transitions. Uh, when the uh, uh, when it was converted from a Mason's Hall into a, a banquet facility, uh, the chandeliers were imported from Czechoslovakia. Uh, they came uh, crated and each piece of crystal was individually wrapped in tissue. And when the, uh, my brothers, uh, being the handy guys that they were, had to uh, uh, uncrate and uh, they discovered they had to assemble the chandeliers and they pulled out the instructions and they were all in Czech. And this is, of course, days way before the internet and no one spoke Czech, uh, but uh, again, they'd be the handy dandy guys that they were, they probably wouldn't have followed the instructions anyway. And um, they, uh, as the story goes, they got things done just in the nick of time. As the painters were walking out the back door, the, the uh, guests from my sister's wedding were coming in the front. The crown molding had lost its detail many years ago. Uh, it had uh, uh, been sort of uh, one coat painted uh, out and you really did not see the uh, magnolia flower there and it was uh, because it's uh, uh, the ceiling height here is 18 and a half feet uh, it's difficult to pick up that uh, detail. My uh, wife and I one year decided that we were going to take on the challenge of uh, redoing that and we enlisted the help of the Historical Society. Uh, uh, we looked in uh, historical records to try to restore the crown molding detail to its original look and no one wanted to put their head on the chopping block to give us uh, you know, real uh, particularly good advice. So we took it upon ourselves. We did several different uh, test uh, pieces, uh, sections, and this is what we wound up uh, choosing. And we were delighted with how that turned out and the look. And, and I rarely walk into the ballroom without my eyes going immediately to it uh, and uh, remarking uh, just how wonderful it looks and what a lost hidden treasure it was for so many years. Probably the most famous wedding that was held here was Steve Gutenberg. Uh, his uh, wife uh, uh, was uh, a Plymouth girl and uh, of course the bride predominantly is the one who decides where the uh, uh, wedding reception and wedding are going to be held and um, uh, the meeting house was that spot. Uh, reaction that we get more often than not and if I had a nickel for every time I heard it is wow I never knew this was up here. People do not realize when they look at it from the outside that it is A, so big, and B, so uh, beautiful and elegant. Uh, it's, it is a hidden treasure uh, from the outside. You really don't uh, realize. And years ago, uh, we used to serve Sunday brunch here, and a great many people uh, had the opportunity to uh, visit the meeting house and see what it was all about. But nowadays, because we're almost exclusively weddings, uh, it's, uh, we don't have that open to the public uh, uh, for uh, regular meal service uh, opportunities for people to uh, see what is up here. As far as banquet facilities, in today's world, they are not built in this manner or this fashion. 
Banquet facilities now are very boxy, very corporate, don't have windows. Uh, they're multiple event facilities. The meeting house is a, a single event facility, which is great for brides and grooms because they will see no one except their invited friends and relatives. And it allows us as uh, owners uh, to uh, devote our complete and undivided attention to uh, a very special uh, uh, day for brides and grooms. Mm -hmm.